Hi everyone, welcome back to my AP Calculus class. Today I will explain TAM, which means Trapezoidal Approximation Method, as a remain sum. I already explained LRAM, RRAM, and MRAM in previous videos. I use the same function y equals x squared plus 1, and then the same three steps, which means four subintervals and subintervals and then infinite number of subintervals the first step is just find i found the four rectangles area right but this is not rectangular method it's a trapezoidal method so i'm going to use trapezoid so first step is to find area of four trapezoid i show you how to do that okay let me start it is y axis this is x-axis. Yeah, I'm gonna draw y equals x squared plus one graph. Y intercept is one, and then at x equals one, the y will is two. And then I made sub interval four sub intervals. This point gonna be one over four, two over four, three over four. 1 means 4 over 4, and then 0 means 0 over 4. And then step 1, find 4 rectangle, not rectangle, I'm sorry, trapezoid area. So how can you make a trapezoid? Just connect these two points, and then connect straight line. Then this first shape is or it looks like a rectangle, but actually it is not rectangles, right? It is trapezoid. So find the trapezoid area. How to find the trapezoid area? Base 1 plus base 2 times height over 2. All right? So I'm going to explain these parts of y0, this length, y intercept. Y0 is 1 in this case, and then I'm going to make this length is y1 y1 means when x equals 1 over 4 y value and then this length is y2 y3 y4 and then use y0 and y1 to find a trapezoid area first trapezoid area y0 is b1 in this case y1 is b2 so what is area y0 plus y1 times height height is always this length right one over four that's the height over two second trapezoid area connect these two points by straight line and then make a trapezoid so y1 plus y2 times one over four because y1 and y2 base one base two, base one and base two over two plus the third one is this trapezoid, right? So y2 and y3, right? So y2 plus y3 times 1 over 4 over 2 plus the last one looks like this trapezoid. So use y3 and y4 times 1 over 4 over 2. All right. So 1 over 4 over 2. 1 over 4 over 2. Every single term has 1 over 4 over 2, which is 1 over 8. So I'll take it out 1 over 8 as a common factor. I gather all the others in the big parenthesis. In the first term, we have y0 plus y1. Second term, we have y1 plus y2. Third term, y2 plus y3. And then last one, y3 plus y4. But you have to be careful for this. What about y0 and y4? We have only one y0 and y4. But what about y1, y2, y3? We have two of them. Two y1, two y2s, two y3s. So I can summarize this like this. One over eight times y0 y0 is 0 over 4 squared plus 1 because y0 is y value in x equals 0 over 4 
plus y1 two times two times this part two times y1 plus y2 plus y3 right if you use these parts 2y1 plus 2y2 2 2y3 so take out 2 and then y1 plus y2 plus y3 y1 is 1 over 4 square plus 1 y2 is 2 over 4 squared plus 1 next 3 over 4 squared plus 1 and then we have only one y4, which is 4 over 4, squared plus 1. There's a big parenthesis right there. Calculate it. 1 over 8 times 0 squared plus 2 times 1 squared plus 3 times. 2 times 2 squared, 2 times 3 squared, only 1 4 squared, right? All over 16. That makes sense, right? Because 4 squared is 16, and then plus 1, 2, 3. How many 1s here? 1. I count like this. 1, 2 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight ones. So plus eight. I'll calculate here. That is just to do this to be properly. One over eight times. I calculate this part using my calculator. Okay. So zero square is zero. Two times one is two plus then 8 plus then 9 times 18 plus and then 4 square 16 which is 44 44 over 16 plus this part 1 over 8 times 8 is 1 that makes sense right so, 4 times, 4 times 2, 4 times 11, so 11 over 32 plus 1. 11 divided by 32 equals 0 0.34, so 1.344 4 about. This is approximation value using TAM. Is overestimated or underestimated? This is overestimated. Why? Because that trapezoid area is bigger than actual area. Think about this part. I zoom in this part, right? The graph looks like increasing and concave up. Okay? And then if you connect these two parts, straight line trapezoid area right this is bigger than actual area under the curve how much bigger this much bigger just a little bit right every single trapezoid in this case increasing concave up graph a little bigger the trapezoid area a little bigger than the actual area so this value is overestimated let's do second step now Second step is I'm going to find how many n step two. Area of n trapezoid area. So what is the force of trapezoid area? There was y0 plus y1 times 1 over n because I'm going to make n sub intervals, right? over 2. Second trapezoid area was what? y1 plus y2 times 1 over n over 2. OK, 
keep going like this. The last one gonna be y m minus one plus y of n times one over n over two. So I'm gonna take it out one over two n basically, right? Because every single term has one over n over two. Then what is left? Y zero plus two y ones. 2y2s until 2yn minus 1. But last one, yn, we, we had only one yn. And then close. I use big parentheses for that. Okay, and then let me find that with that function y equals x squared plus 1. Now, what is y0? 0? 0 over n squared plus 1. 2 times y1. 1 over n squared plus 1. Plus y2. 2 over n squared plus 2. Keep going like this. Until yn minus 1, which is n minus 1 over n squared plus 1. That is one. Okay, and we have only one y n and n over n squared plus one and then close big parenthesis and simplify this one over n. I mean two n big parenthesis and then one zero. Squared is zero. So it doesn't count. Okay, but there is one here. This part is another one here. Another one here. Right? So that is three. Three. One, one, one. Three plus two times. One squared. Mm, plus two squared. Until n minus 1 squared over n squared and plus how many ones here it is i think it is 1 to n 1 to n minus 1 n minus 1 ones the two times n minus 1 right yes that is equal to if we calculate these two parts, 3 and 2n minus 1, that is a 2n minus 2, so 2n minus 2 plus 3, so 2n plus 1, 1 over 2n times 2n plus 1 plus 2 times n square. I'll change this part using sigma notation. Sigma k equals 1 to n minus 1 k squared. So 1 over 2 n times 2 n plus 1 and then plus 2 over n squared times n n plus 1 to n plus 1 over 6 is the formula for sigma k squared, but this is not n is n minus 1. So n minus 1 times n times. 2 minus 1 over 6. This will be properly. So final answer is what? 1 plus 1 over 2n n plus 2n to cancel out and then 6n square n minus 1 times n times 2 minus 1. Okay. I'm not going to simplify more. It is enough. Because our goal is not find this, right? Our goal is find infinite number of trapezoid area to find the actual area under the curve and with x axis. What is the step three? I usually step for the step three, we use limit concept, right? I use this whole things and then put limit. Limit and approach it infinity to make infinite trapezoid area 
of all these same things. 1 plus 1 over 2n plus n minus 1 times n times 2 minus 1 over 6. It is n, I'm sorry, this is n cube, right? n is cubed times 2n. It's n cube. Think about this term. If x n approaches infinity, they will be 0. Right? So 1 is just 1. So 1 plus limit of this part. What is the numerator? Is numerator is 2, 2 n cubed plus blah, 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 blah. So they have same degrees, cube and cube. In the infinity of infinity form, if numerator and denominator have the same degrees, what, what is the answer? Leading coefficients of numerator and denominator is one, 2 over 6. In this case, 1 third. So final answer is what? 4 over 3. I found the same answer, right? LRAM, MRAM, and RRAM. I used it today. TAM because I use all the same function y squared plus 1 between 0 and 1. I just chose the easy examples for you. All should have the same answers anyway. Okay, I hope you understand Riemann sum. Okay, I, I hope really my video can help you understand more about Riemann sum. Okay, thank you so much for watching my video and please click subscribe and like and turn on the notification. Okay, see you. Bye bye.